I know that things like the uh, prion diseases and uh, Huntington's co chorea. Well, um, yeah, those are are considered um, degenerative diseases as well as, as uh, <laughs> genetic. Um, and uh, the fact that, for example, Huntington's disease uh, typically uh, becomes uh, apparent as a problem when the person is maybe 40 years old. Uh, they were perfectly healthy or even uh, some people have said that they were healthier than average <laughs> up until the disease set in at the age of 35 or 40 or 45. And uh, when you look at the specific gene that they're talking about, uh, in the case of Huntington's chorea, it's a, a, a protein that gets a, an extra inserted stretch of glutamine uh, residues. Okay. And uh, this can change generation after generation so that the, the victim's offspring can uh, develop it years earlier than the parent and it can uh, change quickly from generation to generation indicating that that something is uh, actively contributing to the, the mm -hmm. mutation but the folding doesn't become a problem you can have the gene for 40 years with no health problem at all and what's known to uh, activate the uh, the folding problem that creates the symptoms, these are environmental things that have been accumulating mm -hmm. over the decades of ordinary living. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, these features are, are now coming to be identified. For example, uh, the, the um, unsaturated fatty acids uh, cause misfolding of the prions in the uh, CJD mm -hmm. and um, mad cow disease, right. uh, radiation, and the uh, the polyunsaturated fatty acids are known to accelerate the the, the misfolding of the protein, making it uh, act like an infectious thing that spreads from one cell to the next. Uh -huh. And uh, Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's similar folding of proteins. Uh, cause the symptoms and uh, the factors that cause that misfolding are now being identified as environmental dietary factors. And weren't you saying that even in the test tube when they add omega-6 oils to these proteins, it, it encourages or stimulates yeah. the misfolding and the the misshapen um, to yeah, occur? That's, that's been done with uh, prions in the, all the prion-related diseases. And uh, in Parkinson's disease, the protein is called alpha-synuclein. And uh, the uh, DHA uh, long-chain uh, highly unsaturated fatty acid is known to induce the misfolding. And saturated fatty acids can block the misfolding. Hmm. Uh, so uh, the evidence is, is now looking... Uh, like it's related to an aging process since with aging the brain accumulates more and more DHA especially under the influence of estrogen women mm -hmm. accumulate uh, more DHEA circulate more of it in the blood and uh, very uh, typically uh, with the degenerative inflammatory diseases uh, women uh, are more susceptible than men uh, to, to several of the diseases.